times three minus five over four equals three, right? So what you want to make sure you do is you see that we have a fraction going on. Usually I say to undo addition or subtraction, so you'd want to like add that five. But be careful that five is being divided by the four. So what we have to do is we have to first simplify our fraction. So to simplify our fraction, we have to multiply by four, which you got to. So you multiply by four over here, and you multiply by four over here. So then the next question comes in is, well, what is this what is this four multiplied by? And you know, here it's obviously this is gonna be four times three, right? But over here, what do you multiply the four by? Well, fortunately for you, you don't need to worry so much about that because what is um, three divided by three is gonna be what? One, right? So what do you think four divided by four would be? One. So what happens is you could multiply this across. You could say, all right, well, let's do four times C minus five over four. Well, look at, I have here four divided by four. So the fours actually cancel out. So I don't actually have to multiply this four by anything. So therefore then I'm just left with C minus five equals 12. Add a five to both sides. Therefore C equals 17. So just remember whenever you see a rational um, expression, the best way to get rid of that rational expression is to multiply by your denominator to get rid of the fraction. Then you can do your undo in um, inverse operations to solve for the equation.